WWDC 2024, Apple launched iPhone mirroring. But what if I told you that it wasn't actually new and you could have gotten the same experience with Android phones for years, even on Macs? And of course it still works today. So in this video, I'll show you how to control and mirror your Android phone from your Mac. The first thing we need to do is install Homebrew. Homebrew is a package manager, so essentially an app on steroids. To install Homebrew, go to brew.sh and copy this command. Open the terminal, paste it in and follow the instructions. After you installed Homebrew, we need to install SERCPy. SERCPy is the tool that we use to mirror and control our Android phones from our Macs. To do that, put in brew install SERCPy in your terminal. After two decades, it's installed. But SERCPy is useless without the Android debugging bridge. So we need to install that too. To do that, type in brew install dash dash cask Android platform tools in your terminal and it will install that one too. Now we install everything we need. The next steps happen on the phone. The obvious first step is to connect your phone via USB-C or micro USB to your Mac. Then open the settings and find the build number. Since I use a nothing phone, it's under about phone and nothing OS. When you found the build number, make sure smashing these random numbers until your phone asks for your code or pattern. Congratulations, now you are an official Android developer. Now somewhere in the settings there should be the developer options. Open them, look for USB debugging and activate it. Now come back to your Mac and type in SERCPy in your terminal. You can see your display and control everything with your mouse. And that's it. Now you just have to plug in your phone to your Mac, type in SERCPy in your terminal and you're good to go. You're probably a Mac user, right? Well, this channel is all about Macs and macOS, so you probably want to subscribe to it. And here's another random video from my channel where YouTube thinks you're interested in.